Hey guys, so I promised you a swatching video of the Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes palette. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to go across. Three colors. So these are very similar. They are very soft and kind of creamy in consistency. Again, not much difference between these two. Now these are the two shadow only colors. This one's pretty much my skin color, so it's a perfect transition or all over the lid color for me. Now I'm going to go across with these. So I'm going to do these three and these three. The other way around. <laughs> these three and then these three. This color, this color, and this color are all very similar. Last three. I think these are the most pigmented of the entire palette. So there you have it. And there are the colors in this palette. So my initial thoughts, they feel very buttery to the touch. They are a little bit chalky. Like after just doing my swatches, I have dust and residue in the other pans. And on my arm here, you can kind of see it didn't go on perfectly smooth. There's a little bit of chunkiness, a little bit of chalkiness in that one and these two. So in the, dark, the darker ones are a little bit chalkier, but the lighter colors are very smooth and buttery. Um, I really like this and I'm not a neutrals person. I love color. I love contrast. I like to do things that are fun and bright and cheery, which is why I don't even have a matte palette. I was looking through my collection. I don't own a neutrals palette. I own matte palettes. Sorry, correction. I don't own a neutrals palette with all of these colors. So I actually really like this because I don't have anything like it. If I had, you know, the Urban Decay Naked palettes and... Well, the W7 Naked Dupe palettes, if I had, I don't know, various other neutral palettes, I probably wouldn't need this one, but I don't have one like this. And I do like that it has the largest amount of these neutrals, which I would use all over my lids, kind of just to like even them out, which I like. And I also like that you can do the brow and the liner. I did the dark reddish brown color on as a liner today, and I think it turned out really pretty. Um, so I don't mind that they're a little bit chalky because I like the colors. My only complaint is that the colors are too similar to each other. These two, I can't really see the difference. These two seem very similar. This peach shade and this peach shade, I don't really see a difference. And I probably would have liked something in here that was a little bit more on the peachy side. Their pinks are more pink, rosy color. I would like something that's a little bit warmer, like maybe a like something similar to the Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie or a color that's kind of like a cantaloupe color but muted. I like a little bit of warmth on my eyes and the only real warm color they have in here is this red brown. So I would like something a little bit more on the orangey side. That would probably make this like the perfect palette for me. The perfect neutrals palette for me. So overall I am happy with this palette and I plan to 
use it in the next month or two kind of create more looks maybe add in some color from some other brands or other products to kind of intensify the look because um, I do like color as I said so overall I think that this is a pretty good pretty good palette I think Smashbox did a good job I think that yeah like I said my only complaint is that there isn't enough color variation and there isn't like a peachy shade which is what I would like to use kind of to warm up my eye looks so good palette good neutrals I like the mattes they're buttery with minimal fallout um, the darker ones are a little bit on the chalkier side, but they're still very nice, very blendable, very easy to work with. So, good palette. I would definitely buy this if you are in the market for a neutrals palette. Have a great day, everyone.